When you open a website, you're not just looking at raw HTML. You're looking at a living, breathing structure that the browser built, and that is the DOM. It takes your HTML and it turns it into a tree of objects. So every div, every heading or button becomes a node in this tree. So what is the point of these elements being nodes in the tree? Well, it's because JavaScript can then access and change these elements directly. You can think of the DOM like a bridge between your code and what you see on the screen. So what does manipulating the DOM look like? Let's say you're browsing and you want to change the website to dark mode. So you hit that toggle. This doesn't mean that you're rewriting the HTML. You're just telling JavaScript to go into the body element in the DOM and change its class to dark. Or maybe you're fetching some user data from an API and you want to display it on the page. You're not refreshing the page, you're just using JavaScript to create new DOM nodes and adding them to the page. That's DOM manipulation, but why does that matter? Manipulating the DOM allows us to create more dynamic and interactive websites. Without it, every time something changes, we'd have to reload the page. It's what powers things like dropdown, modals, and search suggestions, and that all makes your website experience very smooth. So basically, the DOM is the browser's internal map of the page. JavaScript uses it to find and change elements, and without it, we wouldn't be able to create interactive and dynamic websites without having to reload them all the time. I am very excited to announce that I have a new API guide coming out that is going to be completely free. Of course, it's going to cover what an API is, but also the topics around it, like endpoints and HTTP methods. I've made it so the format kind of feels like a school textbook and it kind of just looks friendly and it's something you can refer back to and flick through not physically because it's a digital product that you can download for free by the way i'll leave the link for it down below and also post it in the discord server but other than that i'll see you next time and the dumb new dumb notes ah it's such a tongue twister <laughs>